Oh, how are you guys this week? Um, this week has been super easy for me. I do not know why. I'm sorry, my stuff is in the way here that I will be showing you in a second. But um, just super easy. Like last week was hard for me. Like every moment of the day, I was like, I'm hungry. I need something. What can I eat now? I just want to just go off and forget it and just not count this day. That was last week. And last week I did lose 3.8 pounds. Now this week I stayed exactly the same. But I weighed in three days early because we have company and a few things going on. So I did want to get my weigh-in in because I signed up for the pass, the weekly pass or whatever you call it. But so I know I've lost weight. I can feel it like you can just feel it, right? You just feel thinner, like maybe your stomach feels thinner or you put on a shirt or something and it's not as tight as it was and you know things like that so um anyway so I'm not upset about that at all because again I weighed in early and I know I did amazing this week because it was super easy and what I did was lots of vegetables and I'm also working on a video, a full day of food on smart points. Um, I also wanted to get your opinion. I saw a few posts of um, people sharing things that I shared in a video like last week or something. And so my question is, am I showing things, am I showing too many items? Maybe, I don't know. Am I showing too many items or, I don't know, maybe you're not watching the video, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, girl, but yeah, so just let me know if I'm showing too many things and um, you're missing them or whatever, because I don't want you to miss them. Anyway, I'm also looking into more um, self-help like why why do we keep going back there like why do we want to overeat why do we lose weight and then you know you know a lot of people lose a lot of weight and gain a lot of weight back um you know every, everybody has situations where they go through maybe it's a tough time in their life and they're just dealing with things and just like me, I was dealing with some medications and things like that, and it just didn't go so well. <laughs> I was not happy, um, you know, gaining that weight, and then now I'm back, and I'm so excited to be doing it with you guys. Those of you who have joined the Diet Bet, I'm so excited. I will link it below for those of you that are interested it starts soon. You can weigh in in three days, but it doesn't start for six days. So weigh in early <laughs> because that'll give you a chance to get more weight off. So weigh in as soon as they allow it. But they're already, Diet Bed is already posting motivational things like snacks at night and things like that. And I will be with you guys the entire time. I'm also doing the Diet Bed as well. Um, so I joined just like you guys did, although I am the host. So anyway, I'm so excited about that. That is coming up in six days, a little bit less than six days. So let me get started with my food finds, but, um, there's so much I want to tell you, but I don't want to take up your whole day, but, um, yeah, I'm just, I want to get to the root of the reason. Like, why do we go to food? Why is that our, our thing? Why, you know, I mean, people have addictions and this is just like any other addiction. 
It really is. It's, but it's got to be something where we are in, I guess, a remission and we stay there. So that's what I want for all of us. And I will do all the researching and all the looking into and all the whatever I need to do for us to all be successful and to lose it and to keep it off because that's what's most important. But it feels so good. Spring is coming. So if you're not in the diet bet, please get on board. It's, it's, I think it's going to be fun. So anyway, and at the end, I may have a giveaway. So we'll see. But let me get started with my food finds this week. Um, last week, it was so funny because I was just talking about, um, <clears throat> about pasta and how you measure it. And I went to Aldi's again, and look what I found. These are, oh, you can't see them. Okay, you see those nests there? These are pasta nests, and these are from Priano, and um, they are, two nests is only six points. So you can throw one of these little nests, let me give you a close-up. You can throw one of those <clears throat> into a pan, and just know that it's three points. These are awesome. This is an awesome food find. <laughs> awesome food find. Um, so yes, but 200 calories for two nests and six points. So, you know, have one or two, but you can throw them in and not have to measure anything, which I absolutely, absolutely love. So anyway, next. I found these Cape Cod chips and um, they are thins. So one ounce, which is 18 chips, is only five points and 160 calories. These are very good, delicious, of course. They're thin, but they don't really seem thin, like you'll see. But I did get these at ShopRite and like I said, they are brand new and I think they're starting to come out with new flavors already because that's what everyone does they come out with a product and then you know now we have chips with what I saw I think I saw a chip that was called spaghetti bulgan me I don't know how to say it bulganese I don't know I'm not Italian people anyway next um I found this at Aldi's and these are fiber now right Fiber Now bars, they're a copy or a dupe of Fiber One bars. And so 90 calories and four points. These are really good and I hate to say it, but they're actually better, <clears throat> better tasting than the Fiber One bars. They're softer and they have like more icing on them. And you guys know I'm an icing freak. So yes. Um, check these out if you are at Aldi's. Again, they're four points. Delicious. Next, I found these new cheese dippers. Oh, light, give me a break. These cheese dippers, um, from the Laughing Cow. And what they are, I'll just show you. They are little packs like this, oh. and in the back, so you see the dipping cheese, and I love the sticks. They're not pretzels. They're like little bread sticks, and they're not covered with salt, which I love. So these are really good by The Laughing Cow, and they are four points and 100 calories. So... Um, I got these a giant. Yes, I've been all over the place looking for food finds. I do. I go all over the place thinking of, and I'm clearly just thinking of you guys. And of course my son, but I'm thinking of what, you know, what is the lowest point, best value thing that I can find for them. 
So anyway, next. Um, I don't know if you've tried this creamer, but this is absolutely delicious. This is Coffee, Coffee Mate um, Italian Sweet Cream. One tablespoon is zero points. Two tablespoons is two is one point, sorry. So for one tablespoon, you can throw this in your coffee and it'll give it a little sweetness and a little creaminess and like what I do sometimes is I mix my low fat like regular um my regular creamer and then I'll throw in one tablespoon of this for zero points and I get the sweetness and deliciousness of it anyway it's 15 calories if you want to know it's such a huge bottle though like make a smaller bottle please like <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to drink all that if I'm only using like one tablespoon here and there. <clears throat> and the next creamer that I found was, this is by Silk. It's Vanilla Almond Creamer. If you're not into milk creamers, let's see if it's better over here. There we go. So this is the Silk Almond Creamer. 20 calories and one point per tablespoon. So um, it's okay. Like a lot of people were talking about this. I saw in um, one of the Weight Watcher places, I don't know. And um, so I thought I'd try it and I wasn't so impressed, but if you're one of the, if you don't like to have milk and you wanna have the almond milk, then this is perfect for you. Next, I wanted to share, you may have forgotten about this because I did. So this is Hellman's um, Low Fat um, Mayonnaise. And so it's only, what's so awesome about it is that it's only 15 calories and one point. This is less calories than the light. So you definitely want to pick up the low fat. Um, I believe it's less points too, because of course it's going to be. But yes, so look for Hellman's low fat. It tastes better than definitely, I, I will not eat fat free dressing ever. It's disgusting. I don't know. I'm sorry if you, if you like it. I just, I can't stand it. It's gross. It's just so bitter. It's like, like, don't even make it. <laughs> anyway, I'm being stupid again. <sighs> okay, this was an awesome food find at Walmart. Two awesome food finds from Walmart. This is Castle Wood Oven Roasted Turkey. Now, what's so awesome about this is that... It has no nitrates. So it's turkey slices with no nitrates and no animal byproducts, gluten-free, blah, blah, blah. And for two ounces, it is one point. So, and it's delicious. So check this out at Walmart, just so you know this is what it looks like. And don't forget there's a coupon. <laughs> A coupon that I didn't get to use on it for a dollar off so I think it was like I think it was pretty pricey well it was like $5.99 or something like that but yeah this is very good and no nitrates which I love because I don't like giving nitrates to my son and they're not good for us so maybe that'll help <clears throat> Sorry. Next, and this is my favorite find of all. This is um, egg rolls. And yes, so they are 120 calories. And they're chicken egg rolls. Make sure you look for the chicken. They're the lowest in the points. They have a couple different kind at Walmart. 
And so they had like three different kinds. One had shrimp in it or something and said light on it, but it was actually more points than the chicken egg rolls. So anyway, these are 120 calories and four points. Four points! So I will try these and let you guys know how they are, but they look delicious and the brand is um, a pretty good brand, so I'm hoping for the best. Um, so yes, Check these out at Walmart. The last thing I did want to show is, in case you've forgotten about these, these are the lighting. These are Baby Bell, you know, the little round things. These are still one point on Smart Points. So if you see these, delicious they're humongous and you peel them like they feel like you're eating like gourmet cheese like these I just love 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 make sure you get the light though um oh you want the calories they're 50 calories yeah and one point and they're what was the protein six grams of protein for one little ball not a ball, sorry. <clears throat> anyway, um, I think that's all I wanted to cover today. I really need to get my pros and cons of Smart Points versus um, Points Plus because a lot of you have been asking me. I am on Smart Points. Um, I just finally said, fine, <laughs> let me just do the program that's that Weight Watchers is doing. Let me just do it. So that's the one I'm doing and um, it's going well, but I will tell you some of the things that I think are really, they're really the same. Anyway, I'll talk about it in another video, <laughs> but I love you guys. Have a fabulous week. I will see you guys next week. Love you so much. Thank you for all your comments and all your amazing posts. Thanks for sharing whatever food finds. Please keep sharing them. I love them. So please keep sharing your food finds and I will see you next week. Okay. Bye-bye.